Hey folks, Spike here with Heartbreaker Relics. We have had uh, numerous requests uh, for us to show how we build our sifter, our land sifter. We've got a video up on the uh, on the water sifters and the scoops and stuff like that. And I'll have that link down below in the description. But y'all wanted to know how we build our, our sifters that we use when we're digging. So we're gonna, gonna try to take the time and show you. We had to build a new one. Yeah, because uh, we got a special dig coming up here in a couple of weeks, and the old sifter we had is five years old, and it's although it's still working, it's seen better days, and we just wanted a backup. Plus, we needed another one anyway. So, we're going to show you how we built this, uh, how we built this sifter, and uh, if you want to build one of your own, uh, you'll at least you'll know where to start. If you got any questions that we that, that I don't cover in this video, just leave me a question in the comments and I'll try to answer it, or we'll try to answer it. So uh, let's take a look at it now and see. This We built it the same size as the old sifter. It's 24 by 24, that's worked fine for us. Uh, we, got, we took some of the ideas, Will the Thrill looked at our old sifter and he built himself one and he made some improvements and one of the improvements he made was the the handles on 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 one end and uh i took it a little bit further and put handles on both ends and that covers uh that covers uh it kills two birds with one stone in other words when you're shaking you're shaking from the handle and you're pulling straight down this line before we had to shake on the end that put pressure on the corner and I had to go in and brace those corners up. This way you're not doing that. By the way, on these corners I always use glue along with uh, some wood screws to help hold that there, some Elmer's wood glue. Uh, and like I said, we use 24 by 24 because that works good for us. That's been a good size. Uh, we use half inch hardware cloth. And in the old one, we used uh, two by four welded wire underneath the bottom to help support it. Will took this uh, a little bit further. He put a, a little uh, one and a half inch brace under the bottom. That helps brace this, this hardware cloth and you really only got pressure on this side and this side. That, that, was a, that was a great improvement there. He also changed the size of the legs. We had two by four legs. Will went with one by four uh, there's actually one by three. They're three quarter by three. Actually, is what it is, and uh, that's what we did. We picked up on that because it it, it lightens it up a bit, and uh, it works just as good. We we also took this out of Will's playbook. We rounded the edge of these legs because this creates a pinch point. If not, and believe me, you will get pinched there if you don't round those off. So that's a, a little safety feature that. Uh, We've got in this this angle here this stop the stops the most important part of these these uh, sifters because if you don't your legs you have nothing to stop it from falling down so this angle right here is 30 degrees and so is the angle on the bottom down there that that helps it set flatter plus the point on the end helps it dig into dirt better and it works real good for us uh, the bolts, you don't want them any longer than you really have to be because you don't want them snagging on your clothes as you walk around it. These are two and a half inches long, but they're quarter inch. Use a big washer. Get out here, you see, on each side, big flat washer. Give you some support and it helps it from, it stops it from wallowing out so bad on the inside. Uh, I think that's about the highlights of it. Oh, no, no. Uh, let me back up. Underneath here, we suppose we put this hardware cloth in with little wire staples. Uh, you have to drive them in with a hammer, not the little ones in the staple gun, because that won't work. And we come behind it, we cut us uh, off of the the one before pine. We take a scrap piece or another piece, of course, and cut you a three-quarter inch wide uh, strip, and you come in and, and screw it in from the bottom. And that helps, that's really what holds your hardware cloth in on the edges like that. That is very important. So, uh, and then I said we, the brace underneath it here, that, that helps. 
it's going to work great because I know because we've used wheels a good bit and it works fantastic. But that's about all that I can think of. It give you a good idea where to start. And as I said, if you got any questions, I just leave it in the comments and we'll we'll try to help you. And we got a special dig, like I said, coming up in about not about two weeks, and we're gonna put this thing to the test. But we know what'll work. The other ones worked. It worked well. Uh, it's worked well for us for five years. I really would like to know how many points that we have found in that old sifter. One of these days, if I'm feeling industrious, I may go in and try to count up and see how many that we have found with that thing. But you ask, and here we are. We're going to try to give you some ideas of where to start. Remember, none of this is written in stone. You know, use your own ideas if you want to, but that gives you a place to start. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Thanks for your support. Check us down below. Right below this video, there will be some stuff from my uh, Teespring store. And, uh, again, thank you all for watching and for, for your support. We appreciate it. Till next time.